One more point I'd like to make mention before we close for today. Something extremely interesting. The Jews and the Christians at the time had a debate. Nasara of Najran and the Jews of Medina. The, the, the Christians of Najran and the Jews of Medina, they were debating about Ibrahim alayhi salam. The Prophet Abraham, may peace be upon him. So the Jews said he was Jewish. And the Christians said, no, he was Christian. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses saying, hey, hey. How can you argue about Ibrahim, whether he was Jewish or Christian, yet he came well before Judaism or Christianity. If you take a look, he was the father of Moses. He was the father of Jesus. He came well before. So he was neither Jew nor was he Christian. Instead, he was a person who submitted to the one Lord, to Allah. The monotheism, it is known as Abrahamic monotheism. That was Abraham. Do not say he was a Jew or a Christian. Allah says it's common logic that he came well before. So what is this debate all about? Imagine how the problem was solved. Verse number 65 of Surah Al Imran, Allah says, Ya Ahl al Kitabi, O people of the book, Lima tu hajjuna fi Ibrahim. Why is it that you are arguing with one another about Ibrahim? Abraham, may peace be upon him, alayhi salatu wa salam. Wama unzilati tawratu wal injilu illa min ba'di. You are arguing about him yet the Torah and the Bible were only revealed well after him. Don't you have sense? Amazing verse. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all and may he grant us all goodness. Allah says, ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين. Abraham, may peace be upon him, was neither Jewish nor Christian, but instead he was upon monotheism, submitting to Allah subhanahu wa taala, and he was not a polytheist. May Allah subhanahu wa taala protect us from polytheism. May He grant us the ability to understand what has been said this evening, to put it into implementation in our own lives. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all.